My name is Beverly DeGale. And I'm Oren Lewis. And we are the co-founders of the ACLT charity. Celebrating with NHSBT for Black History Month. Our charity raises awareness of blood, stem cell and organ donation. And uh, it all started 25 years ago. Yeah, what we do is uh, we save lives. That's the bottom line, it's with the help of the, of the community at large. Our son, Daniel, had been diagnosed with a blood cancer called leukaemia. He was six years of age. He went into th two years of treatments, which seemed to go well. Nine months after he went into remission, Daniel suffered his first relapse. The leukaemia came back and we was told that he needed a matching bone marrow, or the correct term these days, stem cell donor. Our bone marrow consultant at Great Ormond Street Hospital told us that Daniel had a one in a quarter million chance of finding a stem cell donor, just simply because there were not enough black people registering um, in this country or around the world. Just those words alone told us that we needed to do something. And so the ACLT was formed within months and we began this journey of trying to engage the black and black mixed race communities on this subject matter of bone marrow donation in the hope that we could find Daniel's needle in a haystack. But also it became clear to us very early on that this wasn't just about Daniel and our family. There were hundreds of other families around the world that found themselves in this situation and they needed help. There isn't a single proudest moment, but we do have proudest moments, which are, for example, when we are contacted by the stem cell registries and told that new donors or a new donor has been found. Someone that we've registered in our 25 year history has been found to be a match for someone who has blood cancer or a blood disorder where without the donor, that person is going to die. And through our work, we found someone that can save their life. In 1999, mm -hmm. um, early 1999, I got a call from our uh, bone marrow specialist at Great Ormond Street to say that they'd found Daniel's lottery ticket. And we, and we say lottery ticket because it is literally a lottery ticket. A few months later, Daniel received donated stem cells from a born again Christian from Detroit, USA. And this wonderful lady, her name is Doreen Carney, gave us all our lives back. Sadly, um, in the last few years of his life, he developed a condition called hemolytic anemia, which is a breakdown of the red blood cells. And each week, Daniel was on the way to university or on his way back, he would stop at King's University College Hospital, have three to five units of donated blood, and then Every he week. would go off. Yep. And it was okay at first because of the generosity of the white community who were donating blood in their droves, Daniel was receiving the blood he needed. However, the blood was not well matched enough. And, and, that, and that's where ethnicity becomes a real factor. Yeah. And the, uh, we, we found out the hard way um, that if you don't have well matched blood, especially for someone that needs it on a regular basis, like Daniel needed it or sickle cell patients. We lost him at the age of 21 for multiple organ failure. This is why we do all three areas of donation stem cell, or the old term bone marrow, blood and organ donation. In each of those areas, not enough of our people are donating. And it's really important that actually we do because we are the only ones that have the answer. It is our passion to ensure that the community step up and do the right thing.